Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is your boy Tanek127, and welcome back to Tanek FPS. And oh boy, do I got a spicy one today! Oh man, and it's sad, you know. I said that on my last Valorant video or video pertaining to Valorant console, and the fact that I'm saying that again has probably got people watching this video thinking. Oh shit, what kind of bad news are we about to get hit with now? <laughs> the, the news is good and bad, actually. So, you know, we'll get into that. Do enjoy the gameplay in the background, by the way, of um of Valorant on PC. This is probably actually one of my best matches I've ever had. And I didn't even get many kills in here, but I actually did decent. Got a pretty cool multi-kill. So, you know, do enjoy the gameplay in the background um while you're uh, while you're watching this video. But anyway, um, let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. And that is Valorant Mobile. And we're going to talk about Valorant Console too, so do not worry. Um, first and foremost, um, it is the one year anniversary for Valorant. Valorant has officially been out on PC for a year. Man, time pl flies. Happy birthday, Valorant. And um, shout out to Riot Games for bringing this amazing game to us. So that, that shows you right there, man. No disrespect to the dev team. But man, what I'm going to talk about later. Oh, God. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so a lot of, um, a lot of press and other companies have done interviews with the Valorant team after, you know, the release after and them officially confirming, um, mobile. Now, all Anna Donlin has said about Valorant mobile, if you're looking for a release day or something like that, hopefully she says, hopefully players will be able to get their hands on it during year two. So if you're here for a, just, you know, a mobile release date, there's your answer. Sometime next year is probably when you'll. At least get to try Valorant Mobile or it'll be in some type of playable alpha or beta state. I'm sure it's still pretty early in development right now. But I, I think it's pretty much a lot more farther along than um, than people realize. Because this has been rumored for a minute. So um, don't, 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 um, don't think the mobile version's too far off. Trust me, it's going to get out there. Y'all see how they were with, with Wild Rift. They're, they're moving pretty quick when it comes to mobile. It's console that I'm worried about. So um I have this interview that they that Polygon did with Anna Donlin, who is the um the uh the big executive, you know, producer and one who decides on everything. I told you guys about her in a previous video. And um, I'm gonna read you guys a couple of quotes from her. They just, you know, ask, you know, how to val how to Valorant Mobile Journey began. She goes to say we didn't start out with we're making Valorant on mobile. We started out with can we make Valorant on mobile? A lot of skepticism, Donlin said for us, but Whatever you get out of playing on PC, you should get out of playing on Valorant on mobile. But we have to recognize that the mobile player need is different. Now, um, she's also made it absolutely clear that mobile is not going to interfere with PC in any way. Um, there's not going to be any cross-play, cross-progression or anything like that. So, PC players don't worry about that. And honestly, guys, uh, you PC players, man, y'all are intelligent. But seriously, sometimes, what is wrong with y'all and worrying about this stuff? First off, if you did have cross-play with mobile players... That's easy XP for you. Clap their cheeks. What is wrong with you guys? I purposely get on my Switch sometimes to play Fortnite just to play against mobile players and clap their cheeks because it's fun. <laughs> so I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. If, if I had mobile players in my lobby, man, I would have my, I'd have my tongue out licking my teeth. I'd be like XP field day. But I, I don't know. I guess everybody looks at things different. I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. They were concerned about the same thing with it coming to consoles too. And um, it says, unfortunately, she didn't go into detail about the differences between Valorant Mobile and PC just yet. But she also goes to say that, you know, they're not going to be compromising on the mobile experience. PC won't be affected, yada, 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 yada. So PC players, you know, your game's going to be fine. There's nothing to worry about. You guys have to remember, your game is the foundation for this. If the PC version doesn't succeed... These other versions they make aren't going to succeed because y'all is the gr the godfather and the ground that builds, you know, what we're going to have here in the long run. And I think a lot of PC players, you know, for um forget that. Like one reason Call of Duty has gotten so much better on PC over the years is because they got the the console version right, you know, like Call of Duty is kind of the the opposite of Valorant, you know, it's always prioritized console and PC was more of a second thought. And it's the experience on PC has improved as they got better with the 
console version and looked into the ways to tweak PC more. Well, same thing here with Valorant, if um if that makes sense to you guys. But um, all right. So here's what it goes to say. We're gonna get into the good news first when it comes to console, and this is straight from Anna Donlin in an interview. One thing Riot does plan to do is create a console version of Valorant. So a console version is coming, confirmed, right here. However, for now, that's just something the team is exploring. It will take a backseat to mobile, which turned out to be more of a natural fit for the game. And when I read that, I said to myself, whose man is this? Who, 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 what in what world does this logic make sense? And now I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to continue because there, there's more. If this doesn't make sense to you and you're already cringing inside, it's about to get worse. So I would, I'd bite a pillow or something. Brace yourself. And this is quoted straight from Anna Donlin. Oddly enough, I actually do think the transition to mobile has been slightly easier for us. Donlin said consoles obvious for FPS, right? But this type of game, a tactical shooter on console is not easy. It's not easy to have that level of competitive integrity on a platform where the controller is fighting you for that. And we just didn't want it. So we found it took to mobile quicker and it took to mobile easier. And when I read that part, that's when I started screaming inside. I went on Twitter. I got on rest. You know, I did the whole nine yards, man. I had to wait like a couple hours to even start recording this video because I was going to hop on here and say some dumb shit. <laughs> and it wasn't even going to be a good video. But, um, I, I really ask myself, you know, what kind of console dev kits the Riot team has their hands on? Or, are you know, are they using fight sticks back there to try and make shooter controls? Because if they're using a, a Street Fighter fight pad, I mean, I get it. You know, that's probably hard to play a, a shooter on. But, you have plenty of tactical shooters out here that use controller hero shooters that play on controller and that play on on console and the the thing that's bugging me more than more is riot games is the only developer saying that this is <laughs> impossible <laughs> or very difficult to do no other shooter dev is is making this claim whatever it's the problem it's always you know the the dev kits the amount of money and stuff like that and I'm sure that's probably part of it, but some of these excuses are really just starting to sound crazy to me. When you play a mobile game, you hold the phone like a controller. I'm 90% sure when you play Valorant Mobile, it's going to be movement controls on the left in the shape of a touchscreen analog stick, just like a controller, with shooting and abilities on the right in the form of buttons, just like a controller. Just like how all mobile games work. Just like how their own MOBA on mobile, Wild Rift, works. Uh, unless Valorant's going to have this new crazy unknown control scheme on mobile that's never been seen before. Or just straight up mouse and keyboard support to a phone. Then I don't see how this is doable. You play a mobile game the same way you play on a controller. It's like playing a handheld console. It's like playing a Switch without the buttons. And I don't understand how this is easy on a phone, but difficult on a controller. <laughs> and that's why I asked myself, what the hell kind of controllers are Riot Games using? And the only other thing I can think of is, just because these guys have always been a PC-only company, are they really just not familiar with console at all? And I, I, I don't know, like, are there people developing this game that have never played a console game before? Like, I, I don't want to insult anybody, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, coming at that dev team or anything, but a lot of this stuff just doesn't make sense. And, you know, I'm no game developer, so if I'm wrong and, you know, there's some big picture here I'm missing, go ahead, hit me with it in the comments. I, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, if I'm, if I'm really making a mistake by, right now by my claims, I'm sorry, but I just... I really don't understand their logic with this. Not, not at all. And the fact, you know, that they don't, they can't see the potential of, you know, of, of, of it being on console is just, it, it, it's scary. Like I, I get it, you know, um, mobile is popular. It's growing. It's popping off. You're a business. It's about the money. 
but ha have y'all not looked at COD and, and, and Fortnite and how successful they are? Siege, a anything Overwatch, like anything, any multi-platform shooter game? I don't know, guys. Forgive me for the rant. And, you know, like I said, this sounded insulting to Riot. I do apologize. But, man, I just, I don't understand the logic anymore. I really don't. And I just, hell, man, I hope it doesn't take us 10 years, like with Wild Rift, you know, to see a console version of Valorant 2. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. <laughs> Sorry to sound so down in this video, but it lit, this subject literally makes me depressed. That's how passionate I am about this. Like, I woke up to this news, and I honestly, I read this article, and it just, I, I was mad. No lie. Peace out, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one.